Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we're going to be continuing looking at UV editor tools. You can find the UV editor in lots of different ways I've talked about in previous videos. It's so probably the easiest way to do that is with the polygons shelf here, and they have the button right here, which is the UV editor shortcut on the shelf. Or in the modeling menu set under the UV menu, we have UV editor right here at the top. So here we are in the UV editor. So today we're going to be looking within the tool menu, the Move UV Shell tool. I'm going to break this tool menu off and put it, put it over here on the, to the side so I can get to it easier. But it's right here in the tool menu, Move UV Shell tool. And there's also right here in the uh, visible toolbar of the UV editor, the second button here is the Move UV Shell tool as well. So what is a UV shell? First we need some UVs in our scene to look at. So I think to be most impressive is if we get a model from some of the models that come with Maya. I'm going to go to the sculpting tab here and over here to the right there's open visor for sculpting base meshes. We're not going to be sculpting anything but we can open up one of these meshes and look at some pre-built models and get some UVs that way. So there's lots of different categories of things over here. Uh, we got vehicles, weapons, props and such. I'm just going to pick something kind of at random. Well, let's pick a uh, shirt or something. Let's pick uh, this one. I'll right click and import this Maya file. It's kind of a long sleeve shirt. So it's like a long sleeve shirt. It doesn't have anybody in it. That's okay though. It is, let's see, is it double sided? Looks like it has some uh, ridging but it's not double-sided. There's not like an inside surface. This is the outside surface that we're looking at. We can tell that easier by going to shading, back face culling, and we turn that on. So now with back face culling, when we're looking at the back of a face, it will cull it out, which means you can't see it. And so we're looking through the back of the shirt, so we know that there's no faces that are facing us. We're looking at the back of faces that are on the back of the shirt and there is a strip of faces along the edges of the shirt to give it some thickness but overall it, they expect you to include a person to hide all those faces that are not actually showing up so I'm going to turn back face culling off just so that we know what we're dealing with so with the shirt selected if I open up my UV editor again you can see the UVs that came with the shirt I'm going to click this button right here. This uh, kind of looks like a pair of mountains with the sun or whatever. If you click this, it'll hide the texture, which the texture is simply this kind of uh, peach color or, I don't know, tan or something like that. But clicking this button will turn that off. So now we can see just the UVs by themselves. So you can kind of see these two holes here, which represent the uh, sleeves or where the sleeves touch the shirt itself. And then these two squares of UVs down here are the sleeves themselves. They've separated the UVs of the model into these three separate pieces. Now those pieces are UV shells. So this model comes with pre-built three UV shells. This top one and then these two bottom ones down here. So the Move UV Shell tool helps you move a shell of UVs in its entirety. So if I go up here to Tool, Move UV Shell Tool, I click it. You can see how I, when I mouse over the UVs, it kind of highlights on a face-by-face -face basis. And if I click one of these faces, it selects the entire shell. And then I can move that entire UV shell, like so, without having to actually select all these UVs in like a big marquee selection box or something. I can just click a face and select the entire shell. So just by clicking one of these faces, it will select the whole shell, and then I can move it. And that's the gist of how the Move UV Shell tool works. But let's go into the options. I'm going to go to Tool, Move UV Shell Tool, and then Options. And I'm going to collapse the UV Editor down here a little bit so that the options are never hidden from view. So, Edit Reset Settings. So these are our default settings here. So, first of all, we have Prevent Overlap which is a checkbox. Then we have shell spacing and with a value and a slider and placement iterations with its own value and slider as well. So prevent overlap is checked by default. 
So what that simply means is when I select any of these shells, and let's say I moved it here on top of the other shell, if I let go, you'll see it snaps back to where it was. It prevents overlap of the shells. If I want to overlap them, then I would need to uncheck this. I need to hit apply, and then I can move the shell like so. And you'll see that when prevent overlap is turned off, then the shell spacing and placement iteration options become grayed out and are no longer available. So with that turned off, you can place your UV shells on top of each other as much as you want. If we check it and hit apply to apply the setting change, we can then see that when we place this UV shell on top of another one and let go, it will pop back to where it was. Shell spacing and the placement iteration values are settings that control how the UV shell is repositioned after it snaps away from overlapping another shell. So shell spacing indicates the percentage of the map size, and map size is this entire uh, quadrant of the UV uh, editor it specifies a percentage based on how much space each shell should have next to each other and it's a percentage based on the entire area of the map so 0.3 would be like 3% so to speak so whenever I click and drag these uh, UV shells on top of each other and it snaps back it tries to specify that at least 0.3 uh, is being used as a spacing mechanism between the UV shells or it just snaps back to where it was. If I for example leave it put it right here next to the UV shell and then overlap it it will snap back to its original position without uh, having that large of a gap. And then placement iterations is simply the number of times Maya checks between the start and end of a movement to determine whether it will put it back where it was or put it as close as it thinks it can. And this might be more evident if we say, for example, shrink this uh, UV shell like so, it snaps back. If I place the UV shell here next to it with a little bitty gap and then overlay it, it snaps back. But you'll see that it snapped back a little bit further than it was. So this is where it originally started right here. And this might be hard to tell, but I'm gonna move it over here and it snaps back. Now if I hit undo, it shifted closer than it was before. So it's kind of hard to tell. Let me increase this value maybe, say 0.6 or something. Hit apply. So I have this much space between UV shells. So if I overlap it, it then pops it back. And you see the distance it moved is greater than it was when it started. So it's, it's very subtle in this particular instance. But that's what's going on. We have a placement iteration and shell, and shell spacing to determine how much space is given between shells when they overlap and then it, it moves the UV shell away from the overlap. Of course if you uncheck this then you can move the UV shells on top of each other with no issue at all. So yeah that's the move UV shell options. What I find most handy about it is just simply selecting a shell to move it. Once you have your UVs laid out and separated into shells it can be challenging to say right click and choose UVs and then like drag a marquee box selection around them all. You might find, oh, I've selected these on accident and now I've messed up my shell. Or if you want to, you can also choose a UV and go to select and then there's an option for select shell right here. So whatever UV you selected, it will select the entire shell of the UV you have selected. But probably the easiest way is to simply hit this button the move UV shell tool, click a face within the UV shell you want to move, it will select the whole thing and then you can move it. And if you want to overlap them you have to go into the options to turn that off. So yeah that's the move UV shell tool. Hope you enjoyed the video and you're enjoying learning more about these UV tools within the UV editor. If you have any questions or comments please feel free. If you, if you like, subscribe, I really appreciate it and I will talk to you later.